This is Congressman Bobby Schilling, wrapping up another week here in Washington, one full of votes, meetings, and committee hearings. In case you missed it, earlier this week, Senator Brown, a Democrat from Ohio, joined me in sending a letter to the co-chairs on the Joint Select Committee on Deficit Reduction, also known as the Super Committee. They have to find at least $1.2 trillion in deficit reduction over 10 years and find those savings on a tight deadline. As they look to cut federal spending, Senator Brown and I urge them to lead by example and begin by looking at the benefits members of Congress are able to receive. In our letter, we ask them to consider including the Bipartisan Congressional Retirement Age Act in the package they will send to the House and the Senate to be voted on. As you may know, I have pledged not to accept the Congressional Pension. The Congressional Retirement Age Act though would tie members of Congress access to their federal pensions to the Social Security retirement age of their constituents. Typically, members of Congress can retire at age 62 after five years of service, but some can retire with a full pension as early as age 50. This is wrong. My legislation represents the right thing to do to promote shared sacrifice and save taxpayer money. Obviously, this alone will not balance the budget and eliminate our de deficit but it is a start. I'm headed back to Illinois later today, and tomorrow we'll be hosting a roundtable discussion about the Rock Island Arsenal and members of the House Armed Services Committee's panel on business challenges in the defense industry, along with my friend, Congressman Dave Loebsack of Iowa. The Arsenal is a great location for the defense business panel's first roundtable. I look forward to highlighting it as a national treasure in front of lawmakers from across the country as we work through issues that are keeping small business and medium-sized businesses from entering into contracts with the Department of Defense. Increasing the private sector's ability to work with our government is yet another way we can go about getting Americans back to work and grow jobs here at home. Thanks for listening, folks. It's been an honor to serve you. God bless you, and God bless America.